Good evening, I'm Mike Binkley. And I'm Angela Davis. People have been sending us video and photos of the storms tonight. Here's a look at the storm moving through the Brainerd area. A lot of tree branches came down at Cragen's Resort. Ed Rudolph sent us this video. And take a look at this at nearby Matten's Resort on Gull Lake in Brainerd. A car that was partially crushed by a tree that got knocked down. Adam Carter from CCO Radio posted this on Twitter. And check out this picture of what used to be a boat dock in Brainerd. You can see some boats now underwater. This was sent to us by Jennifer Carnahan. And take a look at this ominous looking shelf cloud over Bay Lake in the Brainerd area as well. Josh Goolsby sent us this picture. We do have team coverage on the severe weather tonight. Nina Morney is live in Stearns County where conditions turn dangerous. But we start with meteorologist Lauren Casey who is tracking the storms from the Weather Center. Lauren. Yeah, intense storms and widespread in nature and the storms continue to roll on and now they are nearing the Twin Cities Metro and we have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings in effect, including for parts of Hennepin and Ramsey, Ramsey counties, which does include Minneapolis and St. Paul until 1045. You notice that line of very intense and severe thunderstorms, torrential rainfall and nearly continuous lightning also a threat. There are your warnings in effect for the heart of the Metro until 1045. These cells starting to push now into portions of Wright County and approaching northwestern Hennepin County. So heads up Buffalo in Monticello, already a 50 mile per hour wind gust reported. Elk River, this line near you, heads up in Rogers and Corcoran over the next 20 to 30 minutes. Trees already reported down in North Branch. Now you're dealing with the heavy rain, but heads up, the leading edge of this cluster is moving into the Chicago City area, Forest Lake, East Bethel. It will continue to move east southeast at about 25 miles per hour. It is now mainly a damaging wind threat, though we do have that tornado watch in effect until one o'clock in the morning. Arrival time within the next hour in the heart of the metro possible. 50 to 70 mile per hour winds, which have been the trend as this line has traversed the state throughout the evening hours. And we could potentially see intense winds both as the storms approach with the storms and after the storms as occurred in the Brainerd Lakes area due to something we call a wake low pressure difference on the backside of the storms produce wind gusts up to 65 miles per hour. So it's going to be a tough go in the metro here in the next couple of hours. All right. See you in a bit. Thank you, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Well, one of our crews in Avon saw how quickly conditions could change tonight. And yeah, Nina Moyni and photojournalist David Porter found themselves in the middle of a sudden heavy downpour just before 9 o'clock tonight. Nina continues our team coverage right now in Stearns County. And Nina, these uh, storms obviously packing a punch. We've really seen it uh, all on our ride along I-94 tonight, Mike. Uh, right now, we're just south of St. Cloud. I, I'm cheating a little bit. We're standing under a gas station awning here, but as we've traveled uh, through here, we've seen a lot of cars just sort of parking at these gas stations, trying to wait all of this out. I, I do want to show some video here that, again, a photojournalist David Porter shot for us. Uh, we made it all the way up uh, northwest of here to Avon, Minnesota, where I was really struck by just how fast things change. Uh, and in the course of 10 or so minutes, uh, things went from just seeing these uh, dark, sort of ominous clouds. We've had pretty consistent lightning and thunder throughout the night, but all of a sudden things got really, really dark in the span of just 10 minutes. Heavy, heavy downpours began in that area and continued for hours. Uh, we've had reports in this area, too, of people seeing uh, up to 80 mile per hour winds, a lot of uh, trees, uh, street signs uh, in danger of a uh, falling down around this area. But again, it, it seems like a lot of people sometimes it's easy to uh, not take these uh, severe weather warnings too seriously until you start to really see that rain pour down. So we did uh, unfortunately see some people getting caught in all of this. But really the takeaway is that we've had these severe weather warnings and watches throughout the area all night. It's starting to lighten up in this area here. And of course, as you mentioned, head toward the metro. But it seems yeah. to me that uh, things are not too bad in this area. We'll see tomorrow if that wind though caused any uh, severe damage in the area and this lightning. Okay, Nina, thank you very much. And we are keeping a close eye on the storm tonight. Count on WCCO for continuing coverage throughout this newscast and make sure to send us your weather photos if it's safe to do that. You can email them to photos at WCCO.com.